Merry Christmas, Doom Lovers. I'm back with another quest for Old Wads, and what better theme to apply to this time of year than the oldest Christmas-themed wad? The problem is I had no idea where to start, really, so I've just had to come to the Id Games archive and do a search for Xmas wads and just look at the dates. And so I've already sorted them by, you know, oldest to newest. And as you can see, the absolute oldest Christmas wad is simply a music pack. So that's kind of cool, I guess, but it's not going to really make a great video. The oldest Christmas themed wad that had a map in it is from the 22nd of December of 1994. Of course, if you think you know of an older Christmas wad, please leave a comment so that we can all go check it out. But as far as the Id Games archive can tell me, basically just by a simple search, 22nd of December 94 seems to be the original Christmas themed wad, Xmas slash Doom. And so here is the text file for Xmas slash Doom, the story simply being that the demons are really pissed that they keep getting beaten by the mortals, and so their revenge is to go to Santa's workshop and take over the North Pole. And there's one part of the text file that I really want to highlight here. You see Joe is one of the lovely people who made it. There's quite a lot of people who worked on this wad. Uh, he made map 3 and then Joe down here also says if only I could beat my own level. Let's go and take a look at this wad. There are three maps. They're all Christmas themed. They have Christmas sprites. Let's see just how Christmassy this apparently earliest ever Christmas map set actually is. Xmas slash Doom. It looks Christmassy right from the start. You got the hat, you got the text saying Xmas. How much more Christmassy could you get? Let's hop in and not watch the demo of map 11. Let's hop straight in. Xmas Doom. Well, it doesn't look very Christmassy yet, though, does it? Except for the music, maybe. But look, look now. The imps fire snowballs and they wear Christmas hats, and the cacodemons are the standard bauble shape that they are in pretty much every Doom Christmas wad ever. Except the corpses now are extremely obnoxious. Yeah, it's a good thing that most wads changed that idea, but the idea of them being a bauble seemed to be here right from the very first Christmas wad ever. Maybe we owe this, the very, very first attempt, the, uh, the kudos for that being a thing. Okay, so as you can see, Christmas hats on the imps and the pinkies, snow on the textures, uh, you know, snow, of course, being associated with Christmas in most of the world. Except where I'm from, it's actually hot at Christmas time for us. It is summer, but I get it. We all get it. We get the whole snow thing. We associate Christmas with snow down here because, you know, we're just inundated with American and European culture. Ooh, a lot of you guys are right here. Let's go get ammo. You know, the funniest thing about this Christmassy map is it's actually somewhat tricky. I'd say this is the trickiest of the three maps. So as you can see, I've played it and I'm making a pretty massive beeline for where I know the ammo is because you need it. And look, the bullets and the rockets have been replaced. The bullets are little presents and the rockets are a surprise. Indeed. Let's go get the rocket launcher now. And look, the cacodemons, like the sprites are a bit different compared to what I'm used to seeing baubles and other Christmas wads. Uh, for the most part, but the idea, of course, and look at this obnoxious corpse already screwing me. Uh, I want you to come in, because as you might be able to hear if you're an astute Christmas Doom lover, there is an archfile down in that pit, and he's pretty tricky to kill. He's in a great big open area, and you don't really get much in the way of health or armor in this map. So, yeah, I need to be a bit careful. But I love dragging these baubles in here. Look at that. I do kind of like the way it looks like the cacodemon is kind of like trapped inside the bauble. That's kind of fun. But yeah, it makes for the corpses being... Oh, there's actually uh, spectres over here. I cannot see through these damn corpses. I killed them. Or well, something killed them. Uh, yeah, I would like to kill the revenant. From here, is it really that necessary? Maybe I can just do this. It'd be a lovely shot if I could. Oh my god, I only just avoided that. I got him. All right. And the mancubus, because he's annoying as hell. But yeah, just got to be careful of that arch file now, and I think I'll be all good. And you can see the tree down there is all dressed up in snow and lights and so on. Let's go and hit those five secrets, eh? The secrets in this, typical of like a 90s ward, are just like secret passageways that don't really do much. They don't really provide much in the way of an advantage. But these light goggles should be pretty handy because something triggers the main room to go dark. Um, and if I can just beat this before that happens, that'd be cool. So let's go over here. Actually, I know how to, the best way to get rid of the art file 
If you come around in these secret passageways, he often just follows you up, up. Okay, here we go. Here's where the Mancubus was, protecting his lovely little Christmas tree. Oh, my God. How did the Artful get behind me? Oh, God, I'm going to get zapped. Or not. Die. Die. Yes. How did he get up here, though? I genuinely have no idea. I've never seen him get there. But, okay. He's dead. So, we're all good. Uh, somewhere around here is a way to get down there. Oh, yeah, here. This leads to another secret passage, which is tagged twice, and there's all the secrets. So now I just have to go down to the pit. And this is the exit up here, by the way. You can actually just leave the map pretty easily. But let's go down and see everything there is to see down here. A lot of pinkies, by the looks. Oh, of course I don't want this bloody auto switch. Here we go, I want to fire my snow rifle. And we get a BFG. Which I think fires normally. And lots of ammo that I don't need now because I've got everything. Oh no, I don't. There's three kills left. What are these three kills that I'm missing? Oh, I know what they are. It was that room that I was saying I didn't want to go in before because it sucks. But now I have the BFG. Yeah, there's just this random room. It's like a thing from old wards. They like punish you sometimes for going in certain rooms. Uh, you do get a Megasphere though, so it's not really a punishment. But a Pain Elemental in a Hell Knight in a completely out of the way area. Meh. Okay, time to go to the exit. Which I think I can do just by going here. Yes. Pretty cool little uh, curved staircases as well. But there we go, that is map one of Xmas Doom. Did it feel Xmasy enough? I mean, the music does a lot of heavy lifting, I have to say. But, uh, you know, the sprites must have been a pretty massive novelty for their time. Okay, let's pistol start these maps, because why not? They're not that tricky. Uh, now, if I remember correctly in this one... Yeah, I want to open this wall over here, because there's just a few imps, but behind them is the super shotgun. Oh, actually, your shotgun would probably be pretty handy for me to go and get the super shotgun. And there we go. I am now stocked with my favourite gun. Hey, damn it, that shotgun had got me. And he got the imp. Ah, uh, yeah, this map is strangely much easier than the previous map. Still some surprises. A little bit of a Christmassy surprise. And also, Doom 2 was, like, really new at the time that this came out, so it's kind of interesting. I can't really take those Arachnotrons on right now. Ooh, maybe I have to. Ooh, oh, there's a box of shells. I was wondering, I didn't remember having any trouble with dealing with these Arachnotrons in the past. Whoa, they can come. Of course, Arachnotron Plasma looks uh, somewhat Christmassy anyway. But yeah, I mean, it's not the most Christmassy ward ever, I have to say. I've just put some hats on the demons and changed a couple of things around. It's not really like Winter Wonderland style stuff. Or is it Santa Inc? I mean, if this ward truly is exactly as is since its release in December of 94, then a lot of graphics that you're probably familiar with in Christmas themed wards came right from here, right from the very, very start. All this Christmassy stuff was here. Oh yes, Pinky's well, you're better off with the super shotgun. So yeah, in case you can't tell, uh, map three, I would say, is the most Christmassy of the three. But I'm just, you know, playing the whole ward just to give you a uh, full overview. Uh, no secrets this time. And nowhere near as hard as map one. Although, still some tricky moments, such as this room. Well, and when I say tricky moment, I just mean a little bit tougher than the rest of the map. Unless you know it's coming, in which case it ain't so bad. You might have caught a glimpse of a bit more of a problem. Oh no, that was just a texture. <laughs> uh, whoa, there he is. Another one of these guys. Ooh, and he could see me. I know he's angry at the Hell Knight, so it gives me a chance to pick up some medkits. Oh, the Hell Knight. Oh my god. Oh my god, yep. 5%. It's a Christmas miracle. It's a miracle on 34th Street. And 35th Street. And 36th Street. Yep. Lots of Christmas miracles here. But I got away with it. And we can go to the most Christmassy map. Map 3. Let's not waste any time. Check it out. 
It snows. And I've always really liked this Christmas song too. Now this area has an incredibly funny secret to it, but let's just quickly appreciate what we're looking at here. Super cool. It's like a bunch of... I'll just quickly show you on the map. See a bunch of lines that they've just put like a mid texture in. And I think they replaced the uh, slime fall texture with this, so it animates. And they just made it walk throughable. It does a really good job though, I think. It, like it sells the effect of like being in a little snowy courtyard pretty damn well, to be honest. Anyway, shooting this wall here opens these side walls, strangely. Oh God. Uh, I think I've accidentally ruined the uh, supercharge by applying the uh, sprite fix pack. It should always be red, I think. And the sprite fix pack is overriding it somewhat, but here we go. Armor. Have a merry little Christmas. Love this song. Yay. So this one's a bit more of a long, epic journey. And yeah, it starts out with that really Christmassy courtyard, but then I have to admit, not so Christmassy for the next little bit. Oh, that's right, but they're behind a monster walking line there. <laughs> oh, I think there's a secret rocket launcher I'm missing. I think. I don't know if I can get it now or not. Even though the map has zero secrets. Yeah, blue key. I don't think I can get it yet. Alright. You guys are hiding in amongst the obnoxious bauble corpses. The crates do have boughs of holly on them though. Have yourself a merry little pinksmas. I need some shells. Where the hell are all of the shells in here? I need them, yeah, 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 yeah. Get me up. So yeah, you, you press on the light and that's what uh, brings you up. Ooh, a chainsaw, which, yeah, it's Christmassy enough to chainsaw pinkies. Have yourself a merry little chainsaw blade. Where are the rest of you? So as you can see, map one, easily the hardest. Okay, I think that was it. A couple stuck inside each other though, maybe an homage to Sandy Peterson. Or just a mistake. What are your thoughts? Uh, a bunch of rockets. You do get a rocket launcher. And I would like it sooner rather than later, I think. But anyway. you got to come up here to go down in here to take this teleporter. And I think this takes me to another snowy courtyard. Yeah, it sure does. But we get lots of shells. There's also a lot of hit scan in this room. Oh, yeah. And then randomly, one of the lines is what... I thought there was another one here. One of the lines is what randomly teleports you. There was two in here. Good thing I actually came back then. I didn't really want to do that just yet. I want to kill the dudes from here. I'm pretty sure I know what line it is, even though I just accidentally walked across it. I'll be able to stop myself from doing it again. But yeah, I like clearing out this room from the courtyard. You get a little peek into their sort of Christmassy little church setting or something. And a backpack. Very nice. Check it out. This sort of thing does look pretty Christmassy. Anyway, I think it's one of these lines here. Yeah. And now I can go in here. Uh, yeah, and there's just some pointless rooms because, you know, 90s wad. But we get to see the imps throwing snowballs a little bit more. And get some bullets and all the shells we could ever possibly need. Oh yeah, I remember what's about to happen. It's actually kind of nasty. And I really wish I had a better gun for it. Where is that rocket launcher? Oh, that texture's bugged. Yeah, this is nasty. Because this baron will just start to, uh... Get all up in your face. Oh god. Okay, but he's actually not coming down the corridor, so I'm like just making myself look like a fool. Like, this doesn't look hard. Usually he just comes straight down the corridor at you. Now, this is some 90s obscureness. Although, look, you can barely see it, but up there is a Merry Christmas sign. It's the thing I've been using in some of my videos lately. But anyway, what you're meant to do is press as if it was a button on the edge of this platform. And then take on a couple of revenants in close quarters like this. You can just use here, ow, as cover if you so wish. And there we go, that's everything. So, Christmassy wad. Oh yeah, this is weirdly a secret. Oh, that's the rocket launcher. Okay, good, I've got it. At the end, when there's no more monsters to kill. Great. Anyway, this means we can come down here. So, let's go 
We're done with this Christmassy white eye. Or not. Yep, we have an icon fight. The most Christmassy stuff ever. Okay, I don't want to wake you up. What you've actually got to do, and I can't remember the order, so I'm just going to have to sort of mess about. The back of all these alcoves are switches. And you've got to press them in the correct order to lower the pyramid to be able to leave. And there's no killing like a Romero's head. Okay, that was correct. Um, <laughs> there's just... Uh, well, I better grab this Mega Spear. You just press on the middle pillar and you just leave. So, I'm not too worried about kills here or anything. I'm just trying to uh, press on the buttons in the correct Okay, I've almost done it, actually. I've almost done it. The first time I played this blind was... I actually lived the fight. But I was kind of like, what the actual F am I doing here? Oh, and I can't get telefrag, but I could get stuck inside. Okay, well, I've done it. So that was, like, ridiculously easy. So I'll kill a few dudes just to sort of show off the room. Somewhat Christmassy, I have to say. This The room with, like, the bright colours and everything looking a bit Christmassy with the imps and the snowy plasma and the cacodemon baubles and so on. Yeah, pretty interesting. Interesting idea for a fight in such a relatively early keyword. Anyway, once I know what to do, it's obviously gone by way, way quicker. Having to figure out what you're meant to be doing actually made this fight quite thrilling the first time I played it. And there's two demon spitters, by the way, so it's pretty intense for its time. Anyway, let's get out of here. Xmas slash Doom. And it just sort of ends with a whimper. We'll just go straight into the focus. So how about actually I go back to map three so we can at least listen to that cool music again and look at this scene while I wrap up my thoughts on the ward. Uh, you know, pretty decent for its time, really. Decent sprite work. Does have a Christmassy feel in places. It's got the music. It's got the look. Yeah, pretty cool. I didn't mind playing it. And the icon fight at the end of map three actually was quite thrilling the first time I played it blind. I wish I had played it blind for the video because, you know, it was very interesting and tense. Um, yeah, and so remember Joe... One of the project leads said that he couldn't even beat this map apparently in the text file. So there you go, Joe. That's how it's done. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed. But wait, there's more. Today's episode will actually be a double feature because look at the next wad down, Xmas Nightmare, also released apparently on the 22nd of December of 1994. Here is the text file for Xmas Nightmare, made by Byte Brothers Software, a couple of Dutch people it would seem. Uh, who take themselves pretty seriously, calling themselves software and having version numbers and copyrights and so on. They also made Beavis and Butthead for Doom and Gizmo Patch. And uh, apparently they're a subdivision of Harmar Software. I don't know, maybe this is serious. Let me know if you know anything about Byte Brothers Software. But yeah, they're both Dutch. Only two people this time, as opposed to the big team of people who made the previous WOD. And otherwise, they don't really say too much about the map and the WOD itself. You're just meant to hop in and go for it, so... Let's do it. Are you ready for Bizarro World? This is Expus Nightmare. It is in Doom 1, in fact, despite being released after Doom 2 came out, and it's episode 1, Xmas Nightmare. And as you can hear, the sounds have been replaced, and the map is kind of bizarre. But check out that skybox, actually kind of cool. I used it in my video from a couple of days ago, and... There are a lot of questionable sound replacements. I find some of them to be pretty damn annoying. But there is new sprite work and artwork. We just haven't really seen it yet. Let's go to it. Also, yeah, if you can hear it, it's a bit quiet, but there is some quite creepy Christmas music. Okay, so yeah, you're starting to get a taste of it now. The subway. So apparently this is the subway. And even though the imps haven't been Christmasified yet, and the sound effects seem to have really nothing to do with Christmas, here are some custom textures, and like I say, the skybox. Let's go into Christmas Town. Oh, hello. The shotgunners are Santa. Thank God. And look, you might have seen this shotgun graphic in quite a lot of Christmas wads. It seems to come from here. It's done by the Byte Brothers all the way back in 94. And look, we're in like a little Christmas village. Sales. There's shop windows and things to sort of take a look in. I don't know whether to really explore or not, but yeah, the shotgun now is just in like a present. And this creepy bloody Christmas music. But look, this is the pinky. A half chewed up reindeer. Kind of interesting. And the zombie men now are little presents. We'll get a look at them soon. Oh yeah, don't worry about the uh, stimpy <laughs> sound effect there. This guy's completely harmless, of course. 
interesting choice of sound effects, I have to say. Okay, yes, yeah, so it takes a while to get into some of these doors. But yeah, there is this sort of creepy vibe to this whole thing, I have to say. It's bloody bizarre. All right, let's go into the cinema. The cinema is playing. Hey, well, I made a joke about it previously. Miracle on 34th Street and Doom 3. What little did these guys know in 94 about the fact there would be Doom movies and that they would suck. Um... No offense to any fans of The Rock. Carl Urban was cool in it, I guess. And yeah, here are these reindeers. <laughs> the demon reindeers. Interesting, interesting stuff. I mean, the sprite work is actually not too bad, to be perfectly honest. And this cinema is sort of, you know, decent enough, doom cute for its time. Oh, God damn it, I'm gonna have to shoot him with the pistol. It does look kind of like a cinema, and there's obviously Santa up in the projector room. Uh, getting to him is through a typically obscure 90s secret. Uh, here. And is that the, uh, that elevator sound? Is that the door sound from, um, Dale, Dave the Tentacle? I think it might be, and if it is, that's really cool. Oh yeah, getting back out of here, you can't fit through the window. Uh, the lift does work, there we go. Um, but it's a bit tricky to find the little spot to actually press. Okay, so I have the blue key, so we can progress through the village, although I think before I do that, I want to just take out these imps before I forget. Got to go for 100% kills. But actually, this map has got a really difficult moment in it that I may well die to. And I don't know if I'm going to bother to uh, do it properly. I may just revive myself. Why do I hear an imp? Has it gone all the way back to the start? Okay, no, it's probably just somewhere else and you can hear it from here. Oh, what the? Where were you guys? Oh, it's an invisible wall behind there. Holy crap, I did not know that. Okay, so where's the rest of the village that we haven't been in? This music gives this thing a, such a creepy vibe. Like the first one of these guys that could actually... Oh no, there were some in the cinema. See a Rudolph. Those are rockets, by the way. Oh yeah, the rocket launcher. This is... Okay, so they've changed the sprite. Done it pretty well. Look at what happens. Yeah, yep, yeah, this is the 90s. Oh, wouldn't it be cool if we put this enormous big targeting computer right in your way that makes it really hard to see things? I mean, it's a cool idea. And there it goes. But I think it's just more annoying than cool. Like, functionally, it's not that cool. Some of these, you know, shop windows, though, is pretty sweet. With the shells and the chain gun being suspended in the shop window. Weapon of the year, the rocket launcher, sure. Army dump, let's go to the army dump and get myself a chain gun, which they've altered the sprite of, but I don't think, like the pickup sprite, but I don't think there's anything actually different about it. Yeah, other than that terrible sound. This came out before Goldeneye, so I don't know if that is like the silenced, oh yeah, hang on, let's just kill Santa. See ya. These guys were, um, <clears throat> I mean, it's just a cartoon of a lady, but still, incel nerd culture, dare I say it. <laughs> I'm being rude, but. Come on, you know what I mean. Oi, oi! Man, my health. Is See, there's no secrets and there's only five more kills. Whoa. Hit scan. Hit scan while I have 5% health. Yeah, and going there is going to kill me for sure. But I need the red key for it. Oh yeah, I need the red key. So this is the secret exit and then the regular exit is around here. You can hear that, right? That's what made the stimpy noise originally. There is a spider mastermind down there with a pretty cool graphic replacement. But the weird thing is, I don't think that there's any uh, way to get back out of the pit. So there is stuff down in there with it. Um, but look at my ammo. Like, I guess I could single barrel shotgun a spider mastermind to death. But because of my terrible health and just in the interest of showing off the wad, I'm a cheat. Yep, and look at what it does. Cheater, that's actually pretty funny. Just so you can get a good look at the sprite. Yeah, there's nothing down here. It's just this and these. So you can't fall down in here and look. So... Pretty crappy map design, if I'm perfectly honest. The sprite's kind of cool. Kinda. It's very cartoony and Christmassy. Why does the top of its hat not have a white pom-pom, though, I wonder? And the way they reuse the Spider Mastermind's chain gun in its mouth here. I mean, it's, you know, it's suitably creepy. It fits the creepy vibe of everything. And you see the red things in its eyes when it's, like, looking certain ways. Pretty cool. But yeah, so if you fall down in this pit, you're screwed. And Spider Mastermind can shoot at you pretty damn easily. And yeah, it's huge hitbox feels really janky with such a relatively small sprite. Anyway. 
probably time to ids, is pop D my way out of here. I'm playing on a uh, comp level zero, of course, because this is an older Doom 2 thing. Although, I mean, Ultimate Doom wasn't out yet. And look, it can hit you from here. So, this damn thing is really annoying and troublesome. You basically just got to try and sprint around it and have more health than I did when you get here. And I don't think you get any other guns. It can hit me from here, look. So, its little tiny sprite is very misleading. Really strange level design. Like, why wouldn't you want to make this thing more of a sort of obvious boss battle where you actually have to fight it properly. <laughs> oh, but that is the way it dies. Oh god, Spears Pop D, I got it. Alright. It is very funny that when you type in IDDQD you get accused of being a cheater. And so the regular exit is a Baron. Check him out. That's my ammo situation. Ah, and because I have coloured blood on, Rosty the Snowman bleeds green apparently. He's like a floater now, too. Like, they didn't turn him into a flying enemy. They just made him sort of look like he floats. I do have the incredibly obnoxious rocket launcher. Goodbye, Frosty. And then, yeah, they use Star Trek sound effects. Like, what was going through these guys' mind? This is kind of cool, like the warning sign of the dead Santa. But let's go to the secret map. Because why not? This takes us to, yep, military base, which is the only other map in the whole set. No replacement of the music this time, but once again, a suitably creepy vibe and much better graphics throughout this one. Like, you know, these fence graphics and everything. These guys are actually pretty, pretty talented for their time as artists. You know, these, these are all very sort of competently and pretty well done in terms of the sprite replacements and their artwork and so on. Good stuff. But yeah, this map is bizarre. This whole ward, like the level design of it and everything is super bizarre. It feels like it, maybe it was really rushed, like they got all the artwork done and then just had to rush through making the actual maps themselves. Oh yeah, so creepy stuff, creepy stuff, but actually there are no monsters down here. The barrels are nicely gift wrapped and I think this is where we get just some guns or something. Bullets and a secret wall, even though there's no tag secrets too. Ah oh yes. The plasma rifle, which had a pickup sprite that I probably should have showed off a bit better. But other than the sound replacement, it's just the same old plasma rifle. Really weird mix of things they did replace really well and then didn't bother to. And then, you know, the map design itself has interesting ideas and sort of some cool textures, but from like a functional point of view, is pretty bad. Like, look at this. Okay, I can finally slowly kill these guys by doing this, but I have to wait for him to walk all the way out there. I should have let the shotgunners annoy them and shoot him in the back after that. And I mean, this is just for 100% kills. I've already cheated in the previous map, so why am I even bothering here? Just so it says 100% at the end. You know you all want to see it. Don't lie. With this gift wrap shotgun. I mean, the gift wrapping of the shotgun is actually done pretty well as well. Where is this thing? Don't make me cheat again. I'm a gunner. Yeah, I'm a gunner. Do I have to type Spizpop D? Yes, I do. That's how seriously the developers took implementing comp levels. If you use comp level zero, you have to use it's Spizpop D to no clip. Okay. Uh, these are rockets, I think. Yeah. So those little baubles, they look like they'd just be health potions or something. No, that's the replacement for the rocket graphics. And the item pickup is like a lightsaber sound. And like I said, yeah, there was like um, Star Trek noises and so on. I mean, look, Christmas tree. Could have used, ripped that sprite for some of my thumbnails for the Christmas tree video or something. Maybe it would have been better. But this, these are funny. The, the existing graphics with the snow and everything on them. But yeah, so how Christmassy does this one feel, do you reckon, guys? I say visually it feels more Christmassy than the previous WOD, but it's nowhere near as fun to actually play. Anyway, you know what this has all been building up to? A boss battle, would you believe? With what? An angel who, well, let's use this. And what does it actually say? Nothing. I don't know what the reference is here. Maybe it's like an in-joke. And they use the Star Trek sound yet again for the killing of the Cacodemon Angel, which is a boss battle. The entire ward. And that is it. Press on this door. We're out. So that was Xmas Nightmare. And I mean, Nightmare, I guess, from the point of view that it's just bizarre and creepy. But hey... It was very Christmas themed in a strange way. 
seemed a bit rushed, like I say. I think they were onto something really, really cool, and then they just sort of released it all of a sudden. Maybe they had a deadline because they took themselves seriously. They were Bite Brothers. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the look at these two wads. As far as I know, they're the oldest two Christmas maps that have been released, according to id Games. Please leave a comment if you know of any older Christmas-themed wads that have maps in them. I'm sure I would be very interested, and I'm sure other viewers would be very interested too. With that said, have yourself a merry little Christmas. Merry Christmas to all, and you know, happy holidays. Merry whatever it is that you celebrate, or you know, I'm you know, I obviously uh, celebrate Christmas, but whatever holidays that you're enjoying at this time of year, if you are, I hope they're going really well for you. Enjoy the festivities, and uh, yeah, looking forward to continuing with the Doom content into 2023. Hope you enjoyed. Merry Christmas and peace.